Chirality is important because it leads to an observable physical effect, the idea of optical activity. Optical activity is the notion that chiral molecules rotate plane polarized light. So light that impinges on a chiral compound that is restricted to a single plane is actually rotated by the chiral molecules. To determine optical activity, chemists have set up an experiment using an instrument called a polarizer. So let's say we wanted to measure the optical activity of this molecule here, which is chiral. What we would do is take a light, shine it through an object that has a slit so that only light of a single plane can pass through this polarizer. When it comes out the other side, the light will look something like this. Let's say it's polarized in the plane of the screen, and so we can see its sinusoidal wave as it moves along. And if we looked at it from the perspective of head-on, so we looked at it either coming right towards us or moving directly away from us, what we would see is that the plane of the light is something like this, right? Perfectly vertical, up and down, and as it oscillated, it would go up, down, up, and down. Now when it hits the molecule, believe it or not, there's actually a rotation of the light. When it comes out the other side, it's somewhat rotated. And so again, if we looked at a view where we were directly in front of or directly behind the light, what we would see is that its plane has been rotated somewhat. It's still oscillating up and down, but there's been a rotation from that vertical over by some number of degrees. The reason for this has to do with the fact that we can treat this plane polarized light as actually two different contributions, helical light rotating this way and helical light rotating this way. You might call one right-handed and one left-handed. The chiral molecule interacts differently with the right-handed and left-handed light because these helices themselves are actually chiral. This means that when the light comes out, the differential absorption of right-handed and left-handed light will lead to a rotation of the plane by some number of degrees. If instead we looked at the enantiomer of the compound, what we would see is a direction of rotation exactly opposite to the original. So instead of the light being rotated, say, to the right, would be rotated to the left. And chemists represent this with a negative number of degrees. So going counterclockwise would be some negative number of degrees. Achiral molecules do not rotate plane polarized light. This is important to keep in mind. It's also important to keep in mind that if you have a mixture of equal parts of two enantiomers, they will also appear not to rotate light because half of the molecules will rotate it in one direction and the other half of molecules will rotate it in the other direction for a net effect of no rotation overall.